The difference between a good and bad $1,000 gaming PC is picking out the right parts. So let's break it down. For the CPU, you have two options. You can either get the Ryzen 5 7600X or the 9600X. They're both like around 170 right now and they've been that way for the last few weeks. It's insane value for the AM5 platform. Now you are gonna need a cooler for this. Now you can get a Ryzen stock cooler for like five to seven dollars, but if you wanna spend a little bit more, you can get the ID Cooling 214 XT or really cheap. The motherboard can make or break your deal. So you're gonna wanna do a B650 or a B850 motherboard. Micro ATX is probably Probably going to be cheaper but you never know what kind of deals you can find you just want to make sure that you shoot for somewhere around 150 to 170 dollars and do not go over that for ram this t create ram is ddr5 cl30 6 000 mega transfers per second only like 87 dollars then just pick up a one terabyte gen 4 ssd do not spend over 60 dollars for it then for the case depending on if you want micro atx or full atx with the motherboard that's the kind of case you want to look for and there are a ton of options on amazon and newegg for 60 dollars that come with fans. Probably not gonna be the prettiest case in the world. The power supply is going to be super controversial and that's the 650 watt Seagotep power supply. It's only $55. It's actually pretty good for the price. It's just not modular. And the best part is the graphics card. Get a 9060 XT. Make sure it's the 16 gigabyte version. Don't pay over $400 for it. Top picks in the bio.